this is what it looks like from space or from, from an airplane. The LiDAR is able to penetrate all of those trees and give us, what's on the, it, give us what's on the surface. In these blocks, these different areas that had been investigated, we found something like 6,700 structures. The data that we look in, in, in these blocks of, of survey information, is remnants or remnants of human activity on the landscape. That is buildings that humans built, canals, uh, roads, anything that is not typical uh, a natural feature. We're, we're finding LIDAR is helping us with the sa this technology that's able to penetrate forest canopy and see what's on the ground below. We're able to see in places like Southeast Asia and the Amazon and in the Maya region that these tropical environments had these really complex and relatively large populations living in these regions. Building, 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 building all throughout this. Th the suggestion from these data would be that were we to expand the, the survey of this particular region or all other regions, we would find more of what we found. We have always been able to talk about the ancient Maya, especially in the lowland regions, because of their hieroglyphic texts. What we are now able to do is match that information with their settlement and the population and what they were fighting over, what they were ruling over, what they were trading with. It, it allows us to tell better stories of the ancient Maya people.